I'm going to be showing the benefits of using geometrics to help you with your alignment. This is the component we're going to be using. I'm going to be showing you two alignments for PLP. PLP is the first alignment most users get introduced to. So access to the alignments tab, we select PLP. And what we're looking to define here is, is a plane, line and point. What I'm going to do is simply enter an X and a Y value for my datum. Now we are prompted to go and probe those features. The top face is going to represent my plane. On this plane, I will also be defining two circles that represent the two cylinders at the front. So now we probe the circle, taking three positions. Repeat that process. And we will use those two circles to help with our direction along the X. Before I go and do an inspection, it's always nice just to confirm everything is looking okay. So very quickly, what I'm going to do now is to bring my probe into the window and just position this over some key features. Now, unfortunately, that's supposed to be positioned around that circle. So straight away, I can see there's something not quite right. The probe is too far left and forward, and it should be highlighting that particular area there. Another check we can do, looking from the front, I can see the Z height is right. So not too sure what I've done here going to do is to go back and open up the PLP form. I don't know, maybe there's something wrong with my X orientation. So what I can do there is swap the X around. No, that's not quite right, because when I bring the probe into place, I can, when I move the probe, it's going to the left, and yet I'm moving the probe to the right. Taking a closer look then, uh, what I do, I'll put that back to how it was. Looking at my location there, maybe I've got the X and the Y values the wrong way around. I think that's what it is. So bring the probe in, oh, that's it, so yes. Probe is locating around those two circles. Looking at that face, yes, yeah, just to the right of that. So everything's looking great. Now, I'm going to show you the benefits of using geometrics and how you go about capturing that. That's up to you. If you don't have a CAD model, you can go and probe those features. This instance, I do have the CAD, so I can extract the information from the model on the screen. And as we can see, when I move my cursor over some of those features that are being identified, looking to create a circle and define a plane for the location of that circle. When creating the second one, I would like to use that predefined plane. So that one plane is going to be associated to those two circles. And I want to define a circle, sorry, I want to define a line that is defined by the two circles for my direction. So we'll now go and probe those features, probing that top face for my plane. As we can see in the graphics, it's now prompting me for the probing of that circle highlighted in blue. And moving to the right hand side, repeat that process. Now we haven't done an alignment just yet. So those features I've captured, 
as we're going to see, are floating somewhere in space. And I need to bring those features to the component. That's why we do our alignment before we can do the inspection. So this time I'm doing a geometric PLP alignment. And what I am doing deliberately here, I have given the direction incorrectly, but I'm using my circle there for my datum. Say OK. And now we can see those items sitting around the component. Something's not quite right. So I can see one of the circles is sitting correctly. The circle to the left of that, no, that should be to the right, not the left-hand side. So visually, I can see there's something not quite right with my alignment. So back to the form, we open that up. And what I'm going to do now then is to swap the X direction around. Simply say OK, and immediately we can see the alignment is correct. So this is the benefit of using geometric features to help you with your alignment.